in the last video I created the wall main texture in Substance Painter brought it into Blender and what I want to do now is just focus on this platform stripe here and and work on that okay so uh, let's get started I'm going to create a fill layer with color roughness and that's probably about it. I'm going to bring the roughness up pretty high. Color is going to be dark because I'm going to be creating the grout now. So I'm going to call that grout. And now I'm going to create the tiles. The fill layer, I'll use color, probably roughness and height. I'll bring the height up. I'll bring the roughness about halfway. And black mask and a fill. And I'm going to use the tile generator. For this so we start to see that pull the position up but I'm going to switch this to not image input into square pattern transformation I'll go for a scale of 0.98 to be consistent with the other ones we start to see our tiles taking shape all right and for the number of these I'm going to go for in the X six and in the Y four and that's going to give me three, 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 and this is where I'm going to put the stripes on. So just before I continue, let's add a blur filter on that. Just double check, yeah, you can see it's working. So we'll go for about uh, maybe 0.25. Just throw that in there, and that's good so far. Now these tiles, though, I'm going to kind of make them. Like kind of a, a offset green kind of color desaturated green but I may look at that later and and see what I really want for those so that's maybe a temporary color for the time being um, maybe I'll put this up at about point seven actually all right the next thing I want to do is a bit of a color variation on there so I'm going to create a new fill layer and probably just use color and let's see if I can get sort of a brownish green um, let's just try that for the moment maybe maybe throw a high roughness on there and we'll put a black mask in a fill and in the grayscale I'm going to use moisture moisture noise and let's see if we can see the difference just a little bit of something and that might be Let's see, uh, I got that set at 0.5, and I'll put, I'll just leave that there actually. Uh, that may not be the best color, but we're going to see what happens when we use that. So I'll call that moisture noise. I probably will readjust these colors. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but the, the room is very bright right now, and uh, so it's a little hard to see. So we'll just move on. Uh, the next thing I'll do is some Gaussian spots. So I'll use color, roughness, and height, and relatively high roughness, and minus 0 0.02, let's say. Uh, that maybe not quite enough. What's minus 0.2? Let's try that. And oh yeah, and we'll make these dark. Black mask and a fill, and in the grayscale we'll use Gaussian. Gaussian spots the second one here uh, I'll bring the balance down the contrast up and we'll change the scale make them smaller and not too many and drop the balance or something something like that Gaussian spots on there Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is the stripe itself. So I'm going to create a fill with a black mask. Press F6 to go to orthographic and snap to this side here. So this is the area that I want to I want to create a mask. So to do that, I'm going to clear this, come over to my alphas and choose a square. It's a square rectangle, just something I can draw with. Now make that a little bit bigger and I'm gonna try just drawing down here and seeing how I like that it looks fine I guess so this is essentially my uh, dot mask 
I'm going to create a folder to do this in, drag that into the folder, and I'm going to copy this mask and put it on the folder. And, and that's going to constrain what I do to this area. Now, I don't want to actually want that stuff there, so I'm going to actually change this to color. Um, this is my dots, my dot mask. So what what I'll do is I'm actually gonna do color and height. Let's let's make this uh, sort of goldy yellow kind of color. And under here I'm gonna add a fill. And in the grayscale I will use the tile generator for this. I think I'll try I'll try that. And so it's constrained. Um, we're gonna switch this, however, to paraboloid and I want the height up to there and do something else in a minute and uh, let's see pattern transformation let's try uh, 30 by 30 let's change the scale of those 0.6 so I can erase those, I can erase those if I wanted to. Uh, but just before I do that, let, let's make it yellow underneath there as well. So let's duplicate that layer. So that's the same stuff there. But let's just get rid of uh, this here. And, and I should be able to get rid of that, I think. So there's our dot mask. I'll just call these dots. And I'm gonna call this stripe though. So it's, you know, platform stripe. And then uh, to get rid of some of the dots, let's see what I want to do. For the moment, I'm liking that. So let's add a paint layer, reduce that X to make it cut away. And we should be able to paint those out. Now they're not exactly in the right position. So I can come to the tile generator and under offset, come down to global offset Y. If I just I'll just hold down shift and try to get this. What about, what about right there? You come close to the edge, but I think I think that's okay. I'm gonna press F5 to go back to perspective. So I've got that. And I get a few Gaussian spots. I get one right there. I could erase that if I wanted to, but I'm okay with that. So I've got my stripe in there, so that's good. Um yeah, again, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing the, the color variation, but I, I think it's in there. So let's come up now and we'll try some dirt. And again, it, it's hard with this repeating tiles um, to get them to not look too repeating. But a lot of games you'll see that. You'll, it just looks so obvious. So I'm not going to worry too much. But we'll, tr we'll just try. There's a couple of different methods I can use for dirt. But let's just go the simple way, the simplest way with the dirt generator, throw that on there, just decrease it a bit, and it's starting to look a little more grungy. Dirt. And while you could add cracks and stuff, and I, I, I may at some point, there's, there's a lot that you can do, but I'm gonna do just one more thing. I'm gonna add um, just height, and I'll make this minus 0 0.07 or minus 0 0.06. Uh, a black mask and a fill and this time in the grayscale I'm going to use a uh, grunge concrete wall and it's this grunge concrete wall now to see that you have to zoom quite a bit this stuff here and I'm going to put the balance at point let's try 0.25 and the contrast I'm going to put it I'll try 0.5 okay so you see that uh, and then I'll put the tiling at just 0.5 and we'll just have to decide if that's too much or or what but you know it just gives kind of a nice effect I don't know use it on your concrete wall I just want it on these concrete tiles it shows up on here as well and when I was thinking I would do I'm not sure if this is gonna look good or not but let me just label this as grunge concrete wall I was thinking I would paint that out. So I'll add a paint layer. I'll press F6 to go to orthographic and snap. Increase my brush size, my square really. And, and just come down here. And paint 
paint that out so that there is a smaller back there f5 to go into perspective so it's not on there so i don't know uh that's like a separate piece that doesn't have that stuff all right so so short of going and putting more effects on there scratches etc um i'm going to leave it at that so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to take all of this stuff and I'm going to go control G and put it in a folder. And that's going to be my, I'll just call that platform. Because I will probably use, like copy this and put it on the platform main, but get rid of the stripes. But I want to try that normal export thing to get the white borders around the tiles. But to do that, I'm actually, I need to be careful because I can get too much whiteness around the, the Gaussian spots, which I had on the plot on the the wall, anyhow. But I'm gonna try without there, and I can and all of this concrete stuff will get it. So what I want to do, and and also all these, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna come in here, and I'm going to shut off the height for now, so like that stuff's kind of invisible. Uh, for what I want to do next, I'm gonna hide that, and I'm gonna also hide the Gaussian spots. So really, all I'm looking for is to use the normal effects on the tile shapes themselves so with that done okay on platform stripe i'm going to come over here to go file export textures i'm going to choose just normal export save to my desktop for platform stripe and i'm going to export so now i have just that one file i'm going to import that i want to see how how well this, this works it doesn't always work that well for, for some reason Texture, current session, import. All right, so I've got that there. I'm gonna to come to my texture set settings, drag that on. Let's have a look at the image and see what, if it changes at all. Yeah, it got a little bit more intense. So I've got that there. I want just that stuff. And I, I mean, I can shut that off and you see. I want that baked into the other maps. So I'm gonna to come to bake mesh maps, uncheck normal, uncheck ID and thickness. Curvature I want set to generate from normal map bake and what i'm looking for is a little bit of white lines around the tiles uh, let's see if we can see that I saw it a bit there there all right there so that's what that's what i'm looking for that's what i'm hoping for to get that stylized look on the tiles all right return to painting now moment of truth i'm going to turn back on the grunge so that hasn't been affected i hope and i'm going to turn back on the height for these guys and i'm going to come down here and there okay so i've got my dots back i've got my grout lines it's looking pretty black i admit but we're going to do something here above that i'm going to add a fill with just white and a black mask and a generator and get ready we're going to see how this works we're going to go for this metal edges and i get the white around the tiles a little bit in the grout but not on the um this stuff here the concrete stuff and not on those and now i can just reduce that i can also break that up if i want to here let's see what happens if i uh it's a little regular um we could try and i don't hate it at all really it is stylized but we can add a fill above this one and uh, in the grayscale just choose another grunge just go for grunge take some grunge there and then switch this from normal to subtract and it'll cut away at some of the white so the more I adjust this, you can, you'll see, you know, I just pick it down, the white comes back, you know. So, you know, you can find their, your happy medium. Uh, you come to this and you can, you know, just do that, you know, just to get a little bit of that white in there. Now, it doesn't have to be white also. You know, you could make it green. <laughs> you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not, not going to do that. Um but that's basically how how that goes it's debatable if you wanted to have it on this i've tried that um and and you can but for now this is what i'm going for okay 
So what I will do is I will add this to my other platform. Um, so for example, if I take this, let's just try taking this and copying this. Let's come over to platform main now and try pasting that down. Now the problem is the normal, uh, which has been baked, uh, but I can get rid of on this one, the stripe stuff. Because I, I don't need that. Gaussian spots, what I can do is I can come in here, come to my Gaussian spots, and because this is a different you know, set of tiles, I can just randomize that. So they're not exactly the same as this one. So say I randomize that, and this stuff is okay. Um, but I haven't baked the normals for this, so I would have to come in here, and I would have to turn off this, and turn off the Gaussian spots. I just want those. And platform main. So we could give this a try. Uh, we can go file, export textures, normal export, but I want platform main to my desktop. Let's give it a try. There's the file. So let's bring it in. Platform main. As a texture to my current session import there's platform main okay let's give it a try let's watch this yeah it got darker um and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to um, with those things off i'm going to bake the mesh maps uncheck normal i want just platform main okay good i see the white border that i'm looking for there it is Okay, I can turn back on these effects. Turn that back on. Again, in, in the past video, I included the Gaussian spots uh, in the normal. Um, but I've done that, so yeah, okay. So now, let's see if I just come here and I just copy the, uh, those layers. Let's see what happens if I just paste them on top and see if it takes and we have our white border there. Again, st rather stylized. May or may, you may or may not like that. And I might tone it down. I'm just showing you how to do it right now. All right, I'm going to save that. And I will bring that stuff into Blender. And we'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.